Hello YouTube, Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief, and welcome back to Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at one of the latest motherboards for the AMD line of CPUs. This is the new ECS 890GXM-A motherboard. This motherboard will support all the latest new 6-core CPUs coming out from AMD. It's also just a slight advancement over their old 790 chipset, so let's take a look at this new motherboard and see how well it performs, how fast it is, and whether it's worth your money as the end user to buy. So here we take a look at what comes in the retail box package of the new 890GXM-A motherboard by our friends at ECS. As you can see, you get four standard SATA cables, you get your rear I.O., you get a quick installation guide, the user's manual, the CD that contains all the drivers, the box, and the motherboard itself. Okay, so here we're going to take a look at the rear I.O. As you can see, you get a single DVI connector a single VGA connector, then you also get a display port and an HDMI connection. You also get two USB ports via the red slot, which is right here, and an eSATA slot. Then you also get an additional four USB slots and dual gigabyte LAN. For your audio, you get 7.1 analog audio, and you also have an SPDIF connector for digital audio. This is a very fleshed out rear I.O., and I like it a lot. We're going to spin the board around now. We're going to come over here. We're going to take a look at some of the slots on the motherboard. Okay, so here we're going to show you the available slots on your motherboard for installing your video cards and other discrete cards you might want to have in your system. We have, first of all, we have three PCIe video card slots. These are all 16x lane slots that can be used for your Crossfire configurations. We also have two PCIe 1x slots for installing the new cards like USB and SATA 3.0. Then we also have a single PCIe slot for all of your older cards, such as video, a sound, or anything else that you might need to go on this slot. Um, we'll spin the board around now, and we'll show you a couple cool things. Right here on the motherboard itself, you can see we can hook your system fan up. This is for external audio. You have one, two, three, four external USB slots. And then you also have on the board some really cool features such as a reset and a power button that are right on the motherboard itself for you overclockers who like to indulge in this sort of thing. This right here is where all your panel connectors go. These are the connectors that come from your case onto your motherboard enabling you to start your motherboard by the power connector on the board itself. Okay, so coming around we're going to take a look at the SATA ports and what you get here you actually get five uh, SATA 3 ports. You get one through four right here and SATA port five is off here to the side. So we're going to fall around. This is the 24-pin power connector. And this here is the memory connectors. You have four slots that support dual DDR3 up to 1800 megahertz in overclocked mode. This motherboard supports the new AM3 CPUs, including the new 6-core CPUs hitting the market very soon. Um, one thing to note, around this ZIF socket, it's a very tight area. I do not believe that very many aftermarket coolers are going to be effectual here because right here as you can see, I'll get the camera to come in a little closer, even with my finger right here, it's automatically hitting it. Um, I'm thinking that even the retail heatsink is going to come very close. Uh, there won't be a problem with the memory or the video cards like we've had with some other boards. Even if you see you put a video card in here, there's still going to be room for the memory to be removed and put back even with the video card installed. So that's not bad at all. So overall, here are all the things that you get on the motherboard. You can take a look at it. Um, earlier I said that it was 7.1 audio. It's actual eight channel audio, not much difference there, but still I wanna correct that. So here's the motherboard. As you can see, even says here, it has six core CPU support, which should be an important factor to many people buying this motherboard. There's also an eight pin power connector here back here to support your CPU. So we've gone from a four pin to an eight pin to increase the power going to your motherboard's CPU. And that's everything that comes in the retail box.
Okay, at the end of the day, what is there to say about this new ECS motherboard? Well, the chipset itself, the 890 chipset, I hate to say it, but I think that AMD in some ways is kind of just screwing the end user because they could have very easily made the 790 chipset support this new CPU, but instead they've gone ahead and they've made a whole new entire chipset to make you buy a new motherboard to support their CPU. Is there anything actually really negative about this motherboard? Not one bit. This is a very solid motherboard. It has great features, has great integrated graphics, it supports, you know, your great crossfire stuff. So, you know, overall, it's a good motherboard. For ECS and for the chipset, I give it an okay. Everybody, if you want a motherboard to support your new AMD 6-core CPU, this will do it, and it's pretty solid. I give it a mediocre board, though, because it just does not have anything that just, like, makes me go, ah! about it to stand out. Other than that, if you're looking for a good mid-range price board, this board will probably do the job just fine for you. Thanks for watching.